Oh dear, dear. That's the third time I've sent a heat wave to Iceland this week. I really do need an assistant. Before I know where I am, I'll have shifted all the rain from Manchester. Good morning, sir. Are you the clerk of the weather? Oh, that is correct, my boy. Oh, I overheard you saying you need an assistant. I'd like to apply for the job. Tell me, can you make thunderclap or lightning flash? Oh, not yet, sir. But I can learn. And hailstones. Oh, yes, they're tricky things to make. Mm, you could teach me, sir. Quite so, quite so. There's such a lot of work these days. All these weather forecasts, you know. I can never quite keep up with them. And then those earth folk complain. Do they, sir? Indeed they do, especially the farmers. They keep grumbling. Never any pleasing then. But how do you know, sir? By my earthoscope, of course. What's that? This marvellous instrument here. I made it myself. Did you, sir? It looks interesting. But what can it do? 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 Why, it enables me to see down to earth. To make sure the weather's landing in the right places, you know. Have a look. So you can. That's clever. I should just say it was. And that's not all. I can hear down to earth too. And do those people grumble? Do they, sir? Do they? Yes, they do. Nothing's ever right for them there now. I've taken my off the trade winds. I'll be trying to do a swap with the depression approaching from Ireland. Is that why they're called trade winds, sir? Quite so, quite so. Do you think you could manage while I have 40 winks? I've been up all night with a London fog. It just wouldn't go thicker than a sea mist. I must be losing my touch. I'll try, sir. No need to touch anything. I'll put the pointer to set fair for the next 24 hours. That should give us some peace. Are you sure you can manage? I hope so, sir. What a lot of bottles. All shapes and sizes and colours. I think these must be the dyes for the rainbows. Oh, they're very pretty. Perhaps if I work well, the weather clerk will let me make some. But this is a wonderful instrument. I can see beautifully. But set fair? Why? That's odd. It doesn't look very fair. would like to hear what's being said. I wonder which knob I pull to hear. Ah, this seems to be it. What a cold, dull day. And I've sent the children out for their picnic without any coats. The forecasts never seem to be right. Oh, what a shame. I'll soon alter that. Set fair is not much good. Ah, heat wave. This should do the trick. That seems all right. The sun is coming out and the clouds are scudding out of the way. That should please them. I don't know what the weather be up to. The sun is shriveling up all my lettuces. It's high time that weather clerk learnt moderation. Oh, oh, oh dear. I didn't think of the farmers. Maybe I'd better send some rain to cool things down a bit. There, it always rains on Monday. I might have known it. All my washing soap, just as it was ready to iron. Ah, for a nice fresh breeze. Hmm. I can't see breeze. I'll try gale. That should dry the watching. We interrupt the programme to announce a gale warning. A gale warning? Whatever's going on? I'd better alter the barometer before that gale really gets going. Good gracious, whatever have you been doing, boy? Well, sir, you, you, you see, sir, uh, there wasn't much to do, so I, I thought... Well? Well... I just listened to Earth. Mrs. Jones was grumbling because it was such a dull day for the children's picnic. So I turned the sun on. But then Farmer Giles grumbled because there wasn't enough rain for his lettuces. So I put it to rain. And all Mrs. Brown's washing got soaked. So I sent the wind. Just as well I came back. Or Mrs. Brown's washing would have been blown away. Let alone soaked. Well, there's little harm done, fortunately. But this should have taught you one lesson. It has, sir. And what is that? That there's no pleasing everybody, sir. <laughs>